What's up everybody? It's Brandon. A lot of people told me to live stream this, but the reason why I didn't want to live stream this is because of annoying things like this. You see, with this guy right here, this has all my old memory clips, everything. I was not able to completely purge this device out. So when I throw this in here, I don't know what's gonna happen. We're gonna find out. And I was trying to find a video, what to do with your old hard drive, like how to reset it for your new computer. And literally those videos don't exist. So, <laughs> but this is what I got going on so far. Um, the fans are all connected, so that's good. I ran a lot of the cabling. The power supply is already on. Yeah, and then here I have the power supply and I have all the cables that I need connected already. I have the GPU, the CPU, uh, SATA. And honestly, I don't know, I'm not like a fan of how these connect because I feel like some of these are a little loose, but we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't blow up or catch on fire. <laughs> but anyways, let's start with the motherboard. Oh, stickers. Oh, this is cool. Look, we got stickers and stuff down there. There she is. And in case you didn't know, this is my second ever computer that I've ever made. So here's our motherboard. Now you may be wondering why I'm upgrading. Okay, so I have about four or five main reasons for upgrading. One of the main reasons is the memory. I am limited to what speed I can actually partake in because of this old computer. This was built for like 2017, 2018. Obviously there's a lot of new technology now. Should just be able just to push it in. And I should just be able to tighten it just by turning it. Dude, that is pretty cool. In case you guys didn't know, old computers, like older motherboards, you would have to screw that in and it's the tiniest little screw. Okay, the next thing I gotta figure out is the RAM. So I gotta put it in the A2 slot and the B2 slot. So I'm gonna open that up. One of the other reasons why I upgraded was because of the RAM. I'm able to use DDR5, which is the newest set of RAM my old computer cannot. So I'm going for upgradability with this machine. All right, I got one stick in and honestly, I'm a little scared to push on these guys because they're so delicate. It's not that they're hard to push in, it's just, I don't want to break anything. All right, this is the CPU. Honestly, I didn't go too crazy on it, but it's still kind of, I would say like a top five CPU. Like it's pretty good. Whoa, that's pretty cool. So let's pull that guy back and it's supposed to pop. Uh, something's not right. I want to say this might just be one of these things. You're supposed to give it a lot of force. God, that's a lot though. And this, this never popped off. Uh, okay. Can I move you around? No, feels pretty sturdy in there. Honestly, this GoPro is getting hot. Oh my God. Yeah, I put the holder on because holding this GoPro just right here, like the body gets hot. So I got the little holder on here. Anyhow, the next part we need to figure out is the bracket for our cooler for that guy right there. So I gotta figure out if we need to use one of these and which one. Okay, so this is the bracket I need to use. More than likely, I'm not entirely sure. But basically, like this obviously isn't gonna go in those screw holes, but this one will go in that hole perfectly, like go in those screws perfectly. So I gotta figure out what I gotta do next. So first of all, I gotta take off this bracket here. So, oh, that just sits there. It doesn't even, okay. I thought it would like screw in or something. I guess not. All right, time for this motherboard to go in there. Wish me luck. Looks pretty good. I want to put on these screws now to tighten it down. Okay, took me a while, um, but screws are in. I actually made an oopsie though. I messed up that screw right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. That screw, it's sticking out. I try to screw it in, it just keeps popping out. But every other screw is good. Next up, the radiator. Okay, put the radiator on as well as these two fans. All right, got that cable on there. Also, I don't like, like this thing is loose. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that. Why are you so hard to push in? We're trying to do the HD audio now, which is that cable. And it goes in that. Okay, I can't really show you guys. It goes in that spot, but it's giving me a hard time as well. Like you're not supposed to stick out, bro. You're just supposed to go in. And I don't want to force push it in there. If that one doesn't go in, I don't get audio. <laughs> it's like, dude. That is the best I'll be able to do. All right, the final part is the fans. I already got one started. 
So I got three on the top, three on the bottom. Those two obviously are already good. Looking good, looking good. So those cables right here were the most annoying to figure it out and I think I got it. Last part is the graphics card and I already got this kind of ready. So should be good. <laughs> this thing is huge. So with these big and new graphics cards, you can have anti-sag brackets, which basically, cause it's so big, it sags this way. So they give you brackets now, but anyhow, uh, I'm gonna plug this in and hopefully it goes smooth. Oh. Am I doing this upside down? Oh, there's a freaking cover on it. Bro, there was a cover on it. There you go, it snapped. Perfect, that's what you wanna hear. Dude, we are almost done. I just need to find two more screws. Where did they go? Yes, and guess who is on his last screw. I try one more screw after this and then we can test it. Okay, I have one concern. That fan ain't gonna do anything. <laughs> okay. Now it's a big chungus. Now it's a heavy boy. Hopefully that will hold. I might have to get something for it here. It already looks like it's hanging, dude. What the heck? Anyhow, power cable. Let's see what happens. Shoot, dude, I didn't plug in the last power cable. Oh, how's it gonna reach there? Dude! Oh, no, that's not happening. Okay, at this point, everything is connected. It should turn on. I'm gonna plug it in. We're gonna hope for the best. Okay, so even if I flip this switch, we should have some lights. Okay, so the motherboard light's on. All right. Probably should get my GoPro out, huh? moment of truth and i'll fix all these cables once i know it's working of course okay power button oh <laughs> it works not all the rgb is working but all the fans are working though which is good oh my freaking gosh i did it i freaking did it man now thank you for watching the video if you got this far go ahead and leave a like on the video this was definitely nerve wracking. There were some parts that didn't click in or didn't feel right, but luckily I'm recording this commentary on the new PC. It's been going well for a few months. I'm pretty happy. Of course, this is the final result. I did have to take the PC apart a couple times after this video, uh, cause there were some issues, but luckily I've been able to iron all of them out and it looks absolutely beautiful. Cause as you can tell, I fixed the RGB. And I really want to say special thanks to anybody who used code Burial in the item shop you guys made part of this possible so thank you subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you guys on the next video thank you